you know, one thing that you've gotten really good at is how to find and get the best deals before your competition does. So, mm -hmm. um, so please uh, share, how do you get the best deals before your competition? Um, honestly, I have a, an incredible advantage. I'm a realtor. I know the market better than 90% 90, 90 of the population. Um, and I, I know it intimately. So whenever I get a deal that crosses my desk, you can tell me an address in Tacoma, you can tell me the size of the home. And if I, if I get a deal from a wholesaler or I know somebody who wants to sell off market, I can tell you almost instantly what the house is going to likely sell for just because I know the market so well. Even investors, they don't really understand them. A lot of investors don't understand the market as well as I do because um, I'm, I'm practicing it day in and day out. Um, you know, when, when other investors, if even if, you know, you're flipping houses or whatever, you know, you, most people are only going to flip a few houses a year. I'm selling over 60 houses a year. So every month I'm selling on average five homes a month at least. So with that being said, I'm able to see constantly see the changes. I see the neighborhoods that are going up or going down. So when I get a deal that comes across my desk, I jump on it. Uh, case in point, even, even appraisers, case in point, the duplex I told you about, it was my next door neighbor for over a year. Um, I lived in the house next door. I, I bought it with my VA loan. Talked to the neighbor. The neighbor was a tenant who told me, hey, I'm moving. My, my uncle has dementia. His uncle was the one who owned the house and they're going through a guardianship. The house appraised for $350,000. I think, and he said, I think they're crazy. I can't believe they want $350,000 for this house. And I said, they want how much? I said, can you please pass me along the information to the guardian? She passed it along. I had it under contract and I closed. Because I, I, I knew that that house on market will sell for over $600,000. Woo! That weren't a bad day's work, was it? It wasn't. Now, <laughs> It costs a lot of money to renovate, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand, yeah. Javon. Um, well, that's fantastic. Um, so really you are, uh, you're, you're finding those deals because you're actually in the market yourself. You said something um, a moment ago that I found interesting. I'd like to dive in a little bit. And sure. that is, you said that um, veterans are able to use their uh, used and get VA loans. Um, mm -hmm. And so how many multiple VA loans can a veteran have at any given time? There's no limit on the number of VA loans that somebody can have in their name. The only limit is whenever you own more one or more homes with your VA loan, based on the county that you're in or that you're trying to purchase in, they have a VA county loan limit. So for example, most of the, most of the country in, in normal counties, um, they have a $647,000 VA home loan limit. So if I, if the average price point is $150,000 and the lowest, I mean, the lowest of any county is 647 for this year. So, and you can purchase every year over and over and over again, zero down after you live in a home uh, that you purchase with your VA home loan up to that point. And once you, re once you exceed that point or you're going, you go to purchase a home and you're and your the price exceeds, uh, or puts you over that county loan limit, you just have to put 25% down of the difference. So let's say, you know, you have a hundred thousand dollars in equity or an, an entitlement, I'm sorry. And you want to go purchase a, a home for $200,000. You just put $25,000 down. You have $100,000 of entitlement. The purchase price is $200,000. You pay 25% of the difference, which comes out to $25,000. Um, and so people do that, utilize that strategy all the time. I utilized it when I, at the time when I bought, I had $455,000 in, in entitlement and I used all of it on my second purchase. I've just refinanced the first house I purchased. And since the county limit, limit has shot up so much in my county, it's 891,000 because we're in a, a higher more a more expensive uh, place to live. Um, I now have enough equity to go and purchase another property uh, with my VA loan. And yet, you know, that's retail. Like I said, I'm not getting a whole lot of margin, but at the end of the day, I'm still adding, it's, it's an asset regardless. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Jervon, I, that is so interesting. And you know, any, any veteran that is interested in um, real estate investing, um, my guess is the majority of them don't know about that or don't know about that mm -hmm. strategy. So they would mm -hmm. definitely want to uh, reach out to you.